the barbecue season has begun. And if you have at least 800 euros to spare, you can treat yourself to a very special gas grill. Um, an Otto's OFB or a beefer heat the steaks, because that's essentially what they do, steaks, only from the top with a very intense heat. Uh, if you have ever been in a professional kitchen, they know it as a salamander or uh, an overhead broiler. But for your private cooking, 800 euros just for steaks is quite a lot, isn't it? But if you look closely at a beefer, for example, it has inside a heating element that looks very much like the heating element in such an inexpensive gas heater. This costs only 35 euros or less. Now, does that mean that you can grill with this thing just as well? Well, let's find out. Such a gas heater is available for less than 35 euros. See the description. And quite conveniently, there is even a grill grid included. We need to get our food as close to the heating element as possible. The edge of the heater is in the way, so it has to go. By the way, if you want to do this at home, please do it at your own risk. I don't take over any liability. But we're only fiddling with combustible gas under high pressure, so what can possibly go wrong? The grill grid is removed. Now I'm building a foundation out of some stones that were lying around here. Well, that fits. Let's give it a try. I've got myself some beef steaks. After about a minute, the steak is turned around. I've been experimenting with the distance. Because the grill grate is not adjustable, I simply put some spacers under the heater. Down below, the first steak is heated to the right core temperature. The result of my first attempt may have had a little too much heat, otherwise it's not bad at all. I would say I'm, I'm pretty happy with the result. I mean, it takes a little practice, probably more than with the real thing, but maybe one day we'll build a proper housing for it. But next week we'll do something different. See you then. Bye-bye.